All right, next case. Uh, so now, uh, this, uh, this is a very difficult patient. She has been to uh, nine orthodontists. That's, so when she came to me, she came, I, uh, she has been treated by six, she has been to nine. So I thought I'd gonna send her home and never touch her, but she ended up being one of the best, uh, most loyal patients uh, uh, ever. And uh, I'm glad I treated her. She actually helped us to develop an orthopedic surgery manual. She's also a writer, so she put up uh, the manual together, and uh, uh, I will uh, share that with you later. Uh, so she comes in. Uh, what do we see? Uh, she is uh, 49, long face, chin to the left, uh, in good profile, uh, longer uh, facial third. When she smiles, she has a nice smile. Uh, a little miss level, she has ankylosed uh, tooth number 11. Uh, beautiful profile, I mean she has nice cheek, look at her pupil right there, her cheek is in front of it. She has nice nasolabial angle, and so you see, oh gee, why would you need a jaw surgery? She wants it because of this. Yeah, so nine years of orthodontic, uh, she, she, she finally uh, finds somebody who tells her, uh, just go and uh, have a surgery done, that's your only solution, and she's a nurse. UC Davis nurse, 20 years of uh, uh, experience. So uh, you can see this is not even bracketed, it's ankylosed. So maybe that's why she got it, I'm not sure. But that's what she has. And uh, her only uh, problem is the bite. So her face is good, profile is good, airway is good, uh, life is good, but bite is not good. So let's see what we did with bite only surgery. So, but every patient, you know, and we'll look at her skeleton uh, here. And uh, if you look at those numbers, I mean, they just don't make sense. She has a beautiful profile, but her SNA, SNB, this is a skeletal base analysis. So the, tr the truth, the uh, past six years, I never even do that. The only, the, the only um, person who does it is my insurance coordinator. She prints them out and sends to insurance company because the medical directors, they want to see Steiner analysis. So that's what they want. They, was, they want those numbers. If they have uh, three dots right there, uh, surgery is approved. If it's two dots, surgery is not approved. So this patient is perfect face, has two dots. Surgery is approved. Okay? That's her uh, post-op uh, post day one in the hospital. So the mask that she wears, you see those, uh, uh, um, uh, you see, you see those uh, uh, how do you call them? Uh, tubes, yeah. Uh, they uh, run uh, freeze uh, water through the uh, mask and that freezes your face and makes it cool down. So um, uh, it is uh, very, very good. So she's in ICU one day, so those patients, they stay in ICU for one night and uh, usually they go home next day. She wanted to stay a few nights in the hospital uh, because she was very particular and uh, that's, she took some pictures and she shared it with us. And uh, she, so some people bruise like this and uh, some people don't, most people don't. Uh, she took some pictures with the tats in there, and uh, she had multiple pieces of fork. This is her scans, and that's her face after. Okay, so why did she get more appealing face? We simply close her bite and move her upper jaws forward about two to three millimeters. Again, she had perfectly per perfect jaws, but we just moved them a little bit forward. Uh, why? Because I didn't want interferences uh, in the back at the, at the pterygoid. Uh, uh, joint where maxilla, uh, the tuberosa maxilla meets the, uh, the skull of the base. Skull of the base. If I move it forward, it's easier for me to do the splits and uh, play player. So I did it for my convenience, uh, tell the truth, and uh, obviously for the patient benefit. Uh, but that's for bite after surgery. She still has this ankylosed uh, 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 canine. You see, it's not uh, sitting all the way, uh, but she never had a bracket in it. It's, it was defined ankylosed. So what happened with her profile? We simply made it uh, uh, shorter at the lower third. Uh, she got a little bit better defined uh, nasal support here. And uh, when I did her the fourth one, I put the plates uh, in the cheeks and I lifted her uh, uh, sub So we did sub facelift, uh, uh, so to speak. You know, that's what plastic surgeons to avoid to do because the swelling stays longer. But we already were there. You know, we did up her whole mid face, so we suspended her soft tissue. So when you look at her, she has much better cheek profile now. Why? Because the soft tissue, all that side mid skin, we just moved it up and uh, uh, yeah, make her look much younger. Look at her. 
So uh, she was uh, 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 a little bit difficult in the post ops. Again, she's 50. Imagine those people come, I have to mobilize them. You know, they don't want to open. I tell them, take two Percocets, come here, I have to stretch them out, you know. So she wouldn't let me, she would do it on her own, but she did a good job and uh, she got nice, uh, nice result. Uh, um, the book that we're publishing on the cases uh, that will come out probably in a few weeks uh, and uh, I will deliver it uh, uh, to you guys uh, as soon as it uh, gets done. Uh, we, um, she published the whole, uh, the whole chapter on uh, post-op recovery. So it was really, really nice of her. So she was a happy patient, happy camper, and uh, I'm glad we treated her.